Well, funeral services were held this morning at New Hope Baptist Church for the Welch family, the three women who were killed a few weeks ago by a family member. 16 WAPT's Kennedy Cooper spoke with friends and family about how they are honoring the lives of their loved ones. Thursday morning, we witnessed a moving homegoing service for Ida Thomas Welch and her two daughters, Crystal and Vicki Welch, survived by the last sibling, Kim Welch. The three women were found shot to death at the mother's home in Ridgeland Mother's Day weekend. Police identified the gunman as Ivory James Welch III. He was killed a few days later in a shootout with Arizona Highway Patrol. Through tragedy, family and friends bonded together to honor and celebrate the lives of the three women. I've known Crystal since she was in middle school and high school. She's the epitome of a wonderful person. Her legacy will definitely live long, and I'm just so proud of the accomplishments that she has been able to afford through life. Crystal Welch, the youngest sister, was board president of the American Civil Liberties Union of Mississippi and an attorney who worked as a professor at Mississippi College School of Law. Jesus personally escorted them Pastor Willie Tobias Jr. with a powerful message for the family in mourning. I believe he told Sister Crystal, Sister Ida, and Sister Vicky, they As the service ended, the family concluded their final thoughts to their loved ones, saying, It's not goodbye or see you later, but I hope you save me a seat on the other side. In Jackson, Kennedy Cooper 16, WABT News.